I was getting ready to set up a new company file and I noticed QuickBooks has made changes and I thought I'd show you around in case you haven't seen them or if you're getting ready to set up a new company file and you get in there and you go, what happened? How do I get back to the old one? I will show you that as well. If we've never met before, hi, I'm Candice Camper. I love to help business owners and bookkeepers create confidence with QuickBooks. And today we're checking out the newest version of QuickBooks. They're always making changes. So this is what it's looking like or what you might be used to looking like. You're used to having the plus over here and your different transactions. Well, they've switched it up. Um, if you come over here to the settings, you might be able to switch to the newest version. But guess what? You can always switch back if you think you don't like it. So this is now what QuickBooks is starting to look like. So let me know, what are you thinking about this? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Sometimes we don't like change, but you never know, you might like the new things. One thing to be aware of is that plus that you are used to is over here now. If this happens to you and you're going, what happened? Click there, okay? So this is the newest navigation. You're going to still have your customers, your invoices, receive payments will still be here. Your vendors and expenses will be here, different ways to enter those your team and other still all here. On the left, you'll have your dashboard, your feed. If you set up your bank feeds reports now, you can find those here. But once you click on it, it'll look like what you're used to. Then they have your accounting, which will have your bank transactions, integration, your reconciliations, chart accounts, expenses. You still see them as vendors. And as you start setting them up, you'll notice that. Then you now have sales and you have your customers in a slightly different way than you did before, at least for now. And then sales tax, business tax, lending, if you wanna take them up on some of their extra features that they offer and more. Some things to realize is that your bookmark is gonna be over here. You're setting up the rest of it, like if you have more things that you need to do, as this is a new company file. Integration is gonna look like a little plugin. Um, your notifications look the same as a bell. Your settings are still here, and you'll notice your company settings still go through that. Your lists are still here, so if you need to change any of your products or services or look at your lists, your tools, and your profile, and if you need to switch anything, you can do that, and you can still switch to different companies. If you are here and you're going, I hate it, I wanna go back, you can click on the setting and switch it back right here, and it lets you know what all has changed as well. If you need support, you still have your question mark and you have your additional settings here with how to log out of your account. So let's go ahead and switch it back just so you can kind of re get used to the look and feel. And I'd love to know, how are you feeling about this change? Are you seeing it? It is not distributed to everyone. My traditional company file that I use for my, oh, my actual QuickBooks still looks like this, but when I went to set up a new company file for training, I got the changes and I wanted to show them to you. So let me know, what do you think? And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna get our tips and tricks every single week about how to optimize QuickBooks, make sure to join our tips tricks. You can go up above or down below to join. I look forward to seeing you in our next tip and trick. Have an amazing day, toodaloo.